by the names of their majesties, Queen Mary and Queen Elizabeth. At the time as an undergraduate, His Royal Highness lived in the palace of Holyrood House. I ask you to confer upon Her Royal Highness, the Princess Elizabeth, the degree of Doctor of Laws. We have been born in times when great institutions have crumbled, age-old traditions have been called in question, and science has produced horrors to keep pace with its marvels. If we hope to see our children grow up in tol tolerable conditions, and if peace and prosperity are to drive out the spectres of war and want, we must rely very largely on the services of those who have had the advantages of an education such as yours. to his royal highness uh, for other and great indeed is my privilege to present into your hands a casket this ceremony is really a climax not only of the events of the last two years but also the numberless benefits which Scotland has bestowed on me. I would like to discharge a debt of gratitude to the citizens of Edinburgh for your hospitality to myself and to thousands of other servicemen who managed to get here for a few hours' relaxation during the war. I was based at Recyth for two years, and I know that whenever we had the chance, we used to jump into the train at Inverkeething and come here. I know we were a dreadful nuisance and frequently misbehaved, but as a result of your forbearance, we all have a very tender spot for the Berg, as we sometimes used to call it. It only remains for me to thank you, my Lord Provost, the magistrates and citizens of Edinburgh, for the great kindness and honour you have done me today. 